Hello, my name is Darren Cawthon, and tonight I'd like to show you how easy it is to get started with MVC Turbine for MVC2. Now, I know MVC3 is out, and uh, there will be a version for MVC3, uh, but for now I thought I would just show you MVC2 because it's probably going to work exactly the same with MVC3. Um, if you want to get uh, Turbine, uh, you can go to, of course, look up look it up on NuGet, or you can go to the CodePlex site, um, mvcturbine.codeplex.com. Okay, to start, I'm first going to create an MVC2 site. We've all seen this before. I'm going to run it just to show that it does return a site eventually. There it goes. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is bring in Turbine to your application. So I'm going to use NuGet for that. So I'll click um, Add Library Package Reference. I'll search online for MVC Turbine. And I'm going to see a number of things. Um, uh, Turbine, you, you can bring it in your um, by itself, but um, Turbine requires you to have an IOC container. Now it's compatible with Structure Map, Unity, Castle Windsor, and Ninject. Uh, but for tonight, I'm just going to bring in the one for Unity. So I'll click Install. It's going to bring in MVC Turbine, Unity, um, and that's it. Site, build, site still builds is fine, but it's still a regular MVC site. So here's where I'm going to start making some coding changes. Not too many, though. Okay, the first change I'm going to have to do is I'm going to make, instead of having the MVC application inherit from HTTP application, I'm going to make it inherit from Turbine application. Now, Turbine itself inherits from HTTP application, so it's not that different. It just injects a few more or additional things. Now, um, like I said, Turbine requires you to to give it a service locator or use a service locator. So I'm going to say service locator manager dot set current provider, and I'm going to give it a lambda statement that will um, that it can run to generate a service locator. Now this statement will get run once uh, when the application starts up and then all of your IOC is going to run through this Unity service locator. Now let's say if I had brought in a uh, structure map, um, it would have been structure map service locator um, or Ninjax service locator or you know Windsor service locator. Um, they all inherit from I service locator and you can interact with them all in the same way which um, I'll probably show in just a little bit. But anyway, um, so I've set up my Turbine application. Now there's one thing I probably need to do still, and that's to fix the routing. Um, Turbine uses its own route registrator, uh, which works in the same way with the route collection, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that out and make a new class here called Default Routing. I'm going to call it Route Registrator. Just paste that same code in there, which means I can get rid of this register routes. Um, get rid of it here, and for that matter, I probably don't need to worry about these areas right now. So now my global ASAX is um, pretty much just going to have this. In fact, let's move this out to its own little file. This is about as clean of a, of a um, global ASAX file you're going to see, and most turbine applications are this simple. So anyway, um, let me just try running the app. And it works. And I now have an MVC Turbine app. There's no nothing else you have to do to set it up. Uh, but, but just to test things out, just so you can see, um, let's say I make an interface called iTest. And it's going to have a say something method on it. And I'm going to make an implementation of that. Hello world. Um, I might record a video on this, but um, Turbine uses something called a service registration that lets you load things in your IOC container pretty quickly. So I'm just going to call this uh, test registration. And 
and you see it has register and it takes in a service locator so I can actually say register I test with test right and I'm gonna hop into my home controller I'm going to bring in iTest, which I registered with my container, and I'm going to use it here. Test.say something. Let's run this. So it appears here. Um, basically, that's just showing that Turbine's up and running, and now all of my controllers and pretty much everything that comes out of the MVC framework now runs through um, my IOC container. Um, it's just like MVC3 where you can have everything run through your IOC container, except that uh, Turbine also lets me register things in the service locator um, in a common way that will work across all IOC containers um, um, through, through conventions. Um, and you know a few other things. But uh, anyway, this is, uh, this is all there is and to get your site running with uh, MVC Turbine. If you have any questions, uh, feel free just to check out the group I think it's a uh, um, oh just go to googlegroups.com or groups.google.com whatever it is but there's a google group um, for turbine and there are people there who ask or answer your questions uh, thank you very much